Hi guys, George here from Zero Period Productions, and we're back with Skyrim Saturday Mods. This week we're revisiting an older mod, Agent of Righteous Might, but this time for Skyrim Special Edition. Agent of Righteous Might is a quest mod focused on the Vigilant Ascendar and the Remnant of the Mythic Dawn, and in many ways serves as a great follow-up to the main questline of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. The Vigilant was founded as a direct result of the Oblivion Crisis at the end of the Third Era, with their intent being to stamp out Daedric worship wherever it may lurk. Upon joining the Vigilant in their Winterhold chapter, you're tasked with going undercover to infiltrate the remnants of the Mythic Dawn and learn of their renewed agenda. The mod was first released in 2013 for Skyrim Classic, and it can still be played there, and permission was given to Seamed Water to port the mod over to Special Edition. There is no console version of the mod, so you'll only be able to play it on PC. Agent of Righteous Might is estimated to last 3-5 to five hours in terms of gameplay, with 16 new quests, 5 new dungeons, and a fully voiced cast of characters to boot. This is a mod that I played years ago as part of my original Skyrim modded playthrough, and having played Oblivion again in the past couple years, I thought it might be fun to revisit a mod that acts as an unofficial sequel of sorts. To get started, you'll find the Vigilance New Hall, just outside the city of Winterhold. Visit the Shrine of Stendar. Uh, I think you dropped your Daedra Heart. I think it's supposed to be up there. One who truly remembers Stendar is the one who obeys him. Almighty Stendar knows what you conceal and what you reveal. Hello, T2. Tell me, is your heart devoted to the god of righteous might and merciful forbearance? It is my duty to purge the enemies of Stendar of Tamriel. I follow the will of the merciful guidance, the will of Great Sendar. No. I be I came here because of your message. Now, let's get down to business. I did not get a message. It is my duty to purge the enemies of Stendar. Oh. Depending on the dialogue choices, side quests, and player actions, you can gain Agent of Righteous Might points, which requires you to be true to Stendar's will and being aggressive while following the order. Alternatively, you can also gain guidance of merciful forbearance points for being merciful as you follow your own decision. Once you gain 12 points for either, you'll be granted a bonus perk. I want the uh, feature on. You must be the knight of his divine will. Welcome to the Shrine of Stendar. Traditionally, the shrines of Stendar were lighted by slaying the enemies of Stendar. At the moment, I am not capable of combat. So, I want you to go out and perform the righteous act on my behalf. Slay ten vampires and ten Daedras, and bring back their remains for the offering. Hmm? Hel Two seconds in and already we're going on a little bit of an annoying fetch quest. That didn't take very long at all. Also, very minor thing, but I guess whatever textures I have for wood do not like this. I would have to check to see what texture mod I even have on for wood, because, oh god. Hmm? What is this place? This is the Shrine of Stendar, sacred place for those who bear the mark of the righteous might. Who are you? My name is Irbrand Bayan, priest of Stendar and keeper of this shrine. Who am I? Uh, sorry, I don't have enough offering yet. Take your time. I will be here all day. Oh, I know. You're not going anywhere. You can't fight. Kind of worthless, frankly. Little rude, but... You know what? You're sending me to do your... Busy work, so I don't have too much compassion right now. Oh, don't you walk away from me. I have your stuff. Hmm. Help. Here are ten Daedra Hearts. Great! These are the finest offering for the shrines. And here's ten bowls of vampire dust. Excellent. People would sleep at ease knowing there will be less of these bloodsuckers lurking at night. Now, let me light the shrines. Please remain silent as I complete my ritual.
I will say it's a little bit of a slow start to the mod. Good grand old friend, it has been a while. Nerdius, good to see you again. I can't believe you are still alive. What brings you here today? I need a talented agent. Specifically, I need you. Ooh. We captured one of the remnant agents, and I am about to let him run loose. I want you to follow along and see where he goes. I am sorry, Nertius. You already know I am not an agent anymore. Besides, don't you have enough of talented agents in your order? I have no doubt my agents are talented, but they're not trustworthy. Recently, all operations against the remnants have failed by odd coincidence. I have no solid evidence, but I feel it in my gut. There are leaks in the order. Or worse, a spy planted by the remnants. A spy? Nerdius, you are not alone. Here, this knight of Stendar has been helping me to light the shrine. I just got here. I have no doubt you will not have to worry about finding my replacement. Is that true? Are you really a Knight of Stendar? No. Do you really have what it takes to destroy the enemies of our god? I can never tell when my lantern is on or off. So you'll just see me like, wait, is it on? Is it off? Is that true? Are you really a Knight of Stendar? Do you really have what it takes to destroy the enemies of our god? Also, my best bet is that this is just a weird glitch or a conflict with uh, SMIM. Hello. Is that true? Are you really a knight of Stendar? Do you really have what it takes to destroy the enemies of our god? Absolutely, I live to die for the will of almighty Stendar. Sir Knight, I am Nertius Potanian, the founder and leader of the Agents of Righteous Might. We serve Stendar the same way the Vigilants do, uh, except we do our work in the shadows. Do you wish to join our order and sacrifice the name of Stendar? Is that why you're wearing Nightingale stuff? Sure, yes of course. Sir Knight, the task that I am about to give to you is more than what you can imagine. You will have to prove to me that you have both the skill and the faith that a true follower of Stendar carries. Are you ready to prove yourself? I am ready for anything. Good. Beneath the cavern of Pure Water Run lies an old Dwemer ruin. In there you will find a werewolf. The beast is known to be very lethal and cunning. Heal him and bring me his pelt. Then you shall be known as an agent of righteous might. One thing I want to say, and I know it's very unlikely that the mod would be updated at all at this point, but... In regards to the very start with, oh, bring me 10 Daedra Hearts and 10 Vampire Dust. I almost wish it was less, maybe 5 and 5. Or if he said, oh, clear out this Vampire Den and go to this place where I believe there are Daedra Worshippers and bring me the hearts. But 10 and 10 is a little bit much if you're not just dipping into your own alchemy reserves the way that I did. Because you won't get... 10 and 10 just from two different locations from one Daedric Shrine or one Vampire Lair. And it just seems like a little bit of a long-winded way to start the mod, to start the adventure. Maybe that's just me. Alright, Pure Water Run, let's go. One thing I do want to say is I am impressed by the voice acting. I had a vague memory of the voice acting being pretty decent, but the quality has been pretty good so far. But I know we've only met two people so far, too. Still, given that it's a mod from 2013, you never really know what to expect with voice acting from some of the older mods out there. Although I've played newer mods as well that were also a little iffy at times. Now, I vaguely remember certain parts of the story, of the mod, but it's been years, so don't expect me to remember everything. 
But what I did enjoy about this mod, one thing I really did like is that it felt like a good follow-up to Oblivion. And if anything, one thing I wish we had had in Oblivion was the ability to stay undercover in the Mythic Dawn for longer. Oh god, I'm drowning down here because it's very, very dark. <laughs> okay, I see where we're going. Oh boy. Ah, uh, my favorite thing in mods. Jumping puzzles. Because you know what Skyrim does so, so well? Jumping. Although this isn't too bad so far. It almost feels like they're assisting me with it. Wait, what? Just a smelter down here? I actually don't know if that helped me at all. I can't even see what that's adjusting. Oh, I see. Nope, never mind. I can kind of see what they're adjusting. They're adjusting the bridges. The Dwemer bridges over there. Okay. So I'm gonna put that one back. And I'm gonna hop around over here. If I can land on that platform... Oh, but that one is still up. What does this do? Oop, 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 oop. Not what I want, not what I want. Put that back, put that back. Jump here, now jump here and touch that. I don't think that's entirely what I want. If I can hit this, will this... Hmm. That looks a little too steep for me to land on. What if I... Not what I was hoping for, necessarily. I was gonna try and do a jump trick where I would jump from this one to that as they both went up, but I don't think that's gonna work. Give me one second. So, very unrelated. But there is a chest on this platform right here. Let's see if there's anything worth taking. Not really. Not really, no. Okay. Certain games work well for jumping puzzles. Other games, not so much. Skyrim is one of those games that I don't think really does it well. Because here's the problem. I don't know how I would go up this platform. Because either the platform's all the way up there, or it's at this angle that I can't climb up, which makes me think I need to do my jump shot thing. Whoop. Ooh, there we go, see? Jump shot did work, or jump trick did work. Hi there. Ah, uh, you must be the one from the order. Are you willing to parlay? I'm always willing to parlay. It means... It means we talk things out rather than butcher you to death. Or vice versa, I could butcher you to death. <laughs> hey, we just met, but uh, you should follow me. I'm homeless, can I stay here? Tell me about yourself. I used to be an agent like you. I carried out missions as Narius instructed. By the time my mission was complete, I noticed something. That is lycanthropy. This corruption is not revertible. Reversible? Narius threw me out because he doesn't want a werewolf around his little playhouse. After I settled down in this hole and lived happily ever after, the end. He told me you were a murderer. 
Why does Nerdius want you dead? Because that's his job. He pays people who work against him, and people who used to work for him. You should follow me. Do you have anything for trade? I'm homeless. Can I stay here? No, I... Get out of here. Oh, okay. Stop bugging me. Well, you're kind of rude. I thought we were just gonna chat a little bit more. Although, suffice it to say, assuming what he says is true, and I have good reason to believe it, given that he is a Shrine of Stendar right here, I'm not going to kill him. And back we go. Which I realize that means that I won't get a point for Agent of Righteous Might, and instead I'll probably have to wind up going the other route if I do want to get my bonus perk at all. Although I think part of that will also come down to how many point opportunities they give you. If you're only given 12 exact choices, or 12 chances to earn points, then you just can't miss any of them. But I guess we'll see. Can you just move your ass, Shadow Mirror? Can you get it out of the doorway? You're gonna stink it up. Sorry, because I realized I kept interrupting myself when I wanted to talk about the jumping puzzle, but Skyrim is just one of those games that doesn't work well for jumping puzzles. And after 10 years of playing it, and 10 years of mods, I rarely see jumping puzzles that I think are, like, really, really good, or fit in really well to the game. If anything, I don't know how many of you are playing Elden Ring, but I came across a jumping puzzle in Elden Ring that felt just atrocious, and it felt like such a slog. Can you tell me about this werewolf? The whole point of sending you there is for you to figure out who is the target and how to kill him. Please, stop asking. Tell me about the Agents of Righteous Might. Once you complete this task, I will be able to explain in detail. Until then, focus on your mission. I'm back. Well, how was it? Have you killed the beast? No. I heard his story and decided he should not be killed, at least not by me. I am not surprised. True followers of Stendhal always act with mercy. Well then, you tricked me. You tricked me and then you have nothing else to say about it, damn. Well, I'm ready for the next mission. All right, Sir Knight. You have proven that you are indeed the Knight of Stendhal and uh, I welcome you to our order. You are now about to take up a very heavy duty. Go, prepare yourself if you haven't yet done so. Remember, you are going in alone on this mission. You will be disguised as a captured warlock from Windhelm. Don't bring anything but the clothes on your back. Otherwise, I will store anything else in Erbrand's chest. Tell me about yourself. I will tell you in detail on the way down to our headquarters. Okay. Wait, in that case, should Hello. I put everything in the chest? I know he said that he's going to uh, put myself in the chest, but... That would be a lot of work for me to do that. You know what? He can do it for me, frankly. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Let's go. I don't have a follower. Don't lie to me, game. By the time the last Oblivion Gate perished, in the beginning of the Fourth Era, the people of Tamriel had learned a valuable lesson. The ones who defile the Will of the Nine the ones who show disregard for life and mercy must be destroyed. Those who realize this, whether it was a holy knight or a brave warrior, joined the militant order founded by the priesthood of Stendar, the vigilance of Stendar. It uh, dates a few decades back, when Irbrand and I joined the vigilance 
in hopes of preserving Tamriel by guidance of the Nine. I like the 4x3, the heavily filtered Photoshop image. We down every infidel and dispatched them on sight. Necromancers, Daedras, witches, and werewolves. We ambushed them on the road, fought them face to face with swords and shields, destruction spells, and scrolls. However, such methods weren't efficient enough to wipe out the ones sheltering deep underground or behind a sturdy fortress. Most of the time, our enemies expected intruders. Penetrating their defenses always resulted in heavy casualties. Vigilance in my squad revised the strategy and deployed a new one. Just really heavily Instead soldiered Photoshop stuff. Instead of their gates, we joined their cults. Not to become one of them, but to destroy them from the inside. This was effective at first, but uh, we encountered a critical problem, the weakness in our soul. Blending into the cult required more than a simple ritual. To gain their complete trust, we were forced to perform atrocities. As time progressed, some vigils who went undercover fell victim to this evil. Some deserted their duties and permanently remained in their disguises. Some completely lost their minds. I needed vigilance with exceptional abilities and devoted faith. As a result, we founded the new organization. We call ourselves Agents of Righteous Might, the Order of Stendar. Sir Knight, I believe you have what it takes to become an Agent of Righteous Might. The following task that I will give you is not just undercover work, but a noble sacrifice. Recently, we captured a member of Remnants of Mythic Dawn. We, well, let's just say we were able to persuade him to talk. He claimed the second coming of Mayrun's Dagon, and told how long they'd been recruiting to build an army in the deep underground west of Whiterun. Their goal, to reopen the Oblivion Gates in Tamriel just as they did in the Third Era. I've tried to send agents into their cult, but it has been an utter failure. I'm beginning to suspect there's a leak in the order. This is why I'm sending you alone on this mission. You will be placed in the same cell with the captive. Gain his trust, and gain acceptance to their cult. Once you have done so, communicate with us via drop. Put your report in the small chest, located to the right side of the counter at Frostfruit Inn. May Stendar watch over you, Sir Knight, until we see each other again. The martyr cannot be dishonored. Every lash inflicted is a tongue of fame. Every prison a more illustrious abode. The name Selms. So, Warlock... Who are you, and how did you end up here? <laughs> Act naturally. I'm innocent! I don't belong here! Guards, get me out of here! I worship Boethia. The vigils captured me and dragged me here from Windhelm. I'm nobody. I'm here. Because it is my destiny. Very Oblivion-esque. I'm gonna run with it. Indeed, it is our destiny. Why don't we take a moment to think about this? I just walk up to him and I just grab him by the face. I just hold both sides of his face and I say, You, you are the one for my dreams. And the gods have decided that today is the day I die. Mark, I've been here for a while. He's like, what the fuck are you I talking about? I believe we can about? get out of here without having to fight our way through the headquarter. Taking the left door of the torture room leads to the third floor. I'm pretty sure it will get us to the waste disposal room. Left door through the torture room. Warlock, I've been here for a while. Oh, okay. I believe we can get out of here without having to fight our way through the headquarter. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I got gotcha. you. Taking the left door of the torture room leads to the third floor. I'm pretty sure it will get us to the waste disposal room. Waste disposal room? They've been piling corpses the other day. Instead of the main floor, they kept dragging the bodies upstairs. I'm guessing they have some sort of drop hole to dispose bodies. 
If we work together, we will be able to get out of here alive. This sounds like a plan. I am in. I'm wondering if this was written by a non native English speaker, because most of it's fine, but there's like little things here and there. Good. First, we'll have to unlock this door. The joint seems to be loose. If we can get some sort of lubricant, I might be able to break it. Oh, you need lubricants, huh? Well, here's a bucket. Is there anything in the bucket? Skooma. Hey, hey, hey. Did you bring enough for both of us? Cheese. An apple. Anything in this bucket? I can't think of how else we can get out of here. Hey, listen, I'm just, I'm working on it, alright? Oh, hey, a fatty troll. <laughs> He's a very tiny troll. Little baby I troll. I can't think of how else we can get out of here. No, 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 I already got it. I already got it. How are you old enough? Tell me about yourself. Once we get out of here, I'll answer any and all questions regarding me or my family. Fair. Uh, look what I found. A handful of troll fat. Great. Let's apply it here and here. Now let's see if I can pull this out. Well... Oh. Alright, Warlock, let's go. Yeah, you Try did not it. to make any noise. The guards here have a very keen sense of hearing. I just want to see my warlock robes. Ooh, I like it. Also, you let me keep my uh, lantern, which is good. Oh, I got stuck on the stairs. How odd. There usually is a jailer in this room. Maybe we're lucky. Warlock, we need to hurry. Just don't question it. It's Grand fine. dagger. We'll need it. Do I get my pick? I'm going to take a glass dagger and an orcish dagger. Yeah, that'll do. Oh god. Uh, he said left door off the torture chamber. Who's left? This left. I wasn't paying attention to which way he went. Oh, there he is. Okay. Woo. You found me. He came back for me. Oh, because he knew that I was going to get lost. It's good that he already knows me very well. What, what, where are you going? Where, what are you doing? Buddy. Buddy. It's just a little skeever. It's just a couple skeevers, okay? Where is he going? What is he doing? Is he going the other way now? I guess so. I mean, I'll follow him. You're not very good at escaping right now. I don't know how, um... I don't know how well this is gonna go. Maybe he's just scared of skeevers. Like, what if that's where he draws the line? Skeevers. Also, both paths lead here. Like, we could have gone either way and we would have wound up at the same place. This way. That must be our way out. <laughs> it took you a while to find it, but yep. 